Greetings once more dear friends, Dragon here. If it's your first time stumbling onto my tiny little corner of the YouTubes, then do please consider clicking the red button and subscribing if you enjoy what I do. And one of my favourite labels that has kind of emerged over the last couple of years has actually come from, from Down Under, for me, from Australia, and is the incredible Chameleon Films. Um, so far I've only released five titles, but I have just announced their sixth, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, so Motorway, coming in uh, sometime in April, um, and directed by Soi Chung, produced by Johnny To, and an amazing film by all counts, a really kind of great, uh, much more visceral action movie than some of the previous ones that we'd seen from them. Uh, so just to remind those that aren't familiar with the label so far, they'd already put it joined to us breaking news, the incredible Summertime Machine Glues, a Japanese fairly low budget but incredibly inventive kind of time travel comedy, um, back to Johnny To for Exiled, and then sticking with Johnny To for Election 1 and 2, so kind of spines four and five for the two election movies. So this one's going to be spine number six. Um, like I say, directed by Soi Chung and really very much a kind of like police versus road racers movie. Um, stars Anthony Wong. Uh, main character is played by uh, Sean Yu Man Lok, um, who's a young cop, um, very much a kind of passionate driver. They come up against this uh, incredible driver from the mainland who's sort of initially running rings around them or drifting rings around them is maybe more appropriate to say because there's a lot of drifting in this movie. Um, and ultimately he has to kind of like up his skill set to kind of go head to head with the other racer and finally kind of try and bring him to justice. But incredibly well shot, like really, really inventive movie. Um, some kind of great use of kind of on-camera rigs. There's not really any CG in the film at all. So all the driving, really, really well done um, around the streets of Hong, Co of Hong Kong. It's a kind of great time capsule piece. So you kind of see... 2012 Hong Kong looking incredible because a huge amount of kind of driving on real locations and um, some wonderful kind of rigs that they've used to kind of mount the camera at various points around the car so the kind of a lot of the action when they're driving really really cool and quite unusual almost kind of abstract in places with how they filmed it but yeah really atmospheric really great performances but yeah just a really really great movie and it looks like uh, Chameleon Films have put together an incredible release for it so special features wise there's two different versions of the release available. So they're doing a, a kind of standard uh, collector's edition still, which is kind of like uh, limited quantities, comes with a slipcase and a booklet. And then they're doing also a separate version, which comes with uh, an audio CD and it's a kind of soundtrack for this by uh, Xavier Yamo, I think, um, who um, huge amount of production credits, including um, Gustafelstein, which kind of is always the one that sticks with me. I love Gustafelstein stuff. A pretty great soundtrack, kind of mixture of sort of electronics, um, and kind of slightly more traditional score, but I don't think the soundtrack's ever been released on CD before, so it's kind of a little bit of a scoop for the comedian guys to be able to get it. So like I say, that comes as a separate version, so you can kind of get the version with the audio CD or you can get the version without. The on-disc extras are the same, no matter which version you go for. And we're getting a, a new essay by film scholar Gary Benson and a new interview with the screenwriter Joey O'Brien, audio commentary by our favourite Hong Kong based boys by Arna Venema and Mike Leader. Stoked to see those boys working with Chameleon and um, you can also check out my interviews with both of them here on this channel. I'll leave links down to those before. Please do check them out. Um, they're both wonderful dudes and really, really enjoyed getting a chance to speak to them both and we'll be looking forward to hearing what they have to say about Motorway. Uh, we're getting Inside Track, a new interview with the associate producer Ding Yuan Shan, which runs for about 35 minutes. An interview with the composer, uh, Xavier Jamal, which runs for 30 minutes. Never before seen in full archival interviews with Sean Yu, Anthony Wong, uh, Barbie Su, the director Soi Chung and with Johnny To. They run for about 48 minutes. And an extensive behind the scenes archival making off, which runs for an hour, well, short of 57 minutes worth, uh, which would be pretty cool to see, especially we'll see some glimpses of how they've done that kind of weird on camera rig stuff. Uh, photo gallery, theatrical trailer, and a reversible sleeve, which I'll put up a picture of now so you can see. And while I've been blabbing, I'll have shown you little bits from the trailer. I'll leave a link down to a full kind of trailer without my rambling, but it's a proper sound. And you can check that out below from Chameleon's own YouTube channel. And do also subscribe to Chameleon's YouTube channel because I think they've only um, not had the channel up and running for that long. Definitely go over and show your support there. Um, I'll also leave pre-order links because it is up for pre-order. You can order it from Australia as you can. There are other previous releases because I think they are still all available. And that's a little bit of a travesty, really, um, for the length of time that they've been out for now. I really would hope that these will all sell out because they're absolutely fantastic releases. It's really a wonderful company. I've put them up there with Radiance for me as the ones that are doing the most exciting stuff. I think they're the ones that are doing the most exciting Hong Kong stuff for me at the moment. No one else is really doing slightly more contemporary newer Hong Kong stuff as well as the guys at Chameleon are. They've got a particular love for Johnny Toe 
as do I, so I'm kind of stoked to see some of the, the movies that they've been bringing out. And their first releases have been absolutely incredible, great mix of extras and really beautiful transfers for the, the movies that they've been picking up. So really excited to see what they do next, but certainly I'm very, very much looking forward to more away. You should be too. Check out all the links down below. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.